Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, as you can see, for today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the secret drivable forklifts on the new Halo Infinite map, Illusion. So, it's quite simple to do this, and I've actually laid out a very optimal path for you to do this. So, you could just follow this video or download the map yourself. But anyways, on this map, there are these ID badges here, and... If you look closely at them, they'll show you know a name on them. And each of them has a different name. I suspect it might be developer names, but I'm not. I don't know that for sure. But anyways, there are 18 of these badges all over the map, and you just gotta shoot each one of them, and well, that's it. You just shoot all of them. The doors containing the uh, forklifts on each side of the map will open up. Now, like I said, I do have this map that you see in this video available on my file share, so you could you know just follow the guidelines and shoot each of them marked. Uh, ID badges or alternatively for those of you who don't want to follow this whole path and you just want to drive the forklifts I also have another map on my file share where the uh, all the badges are automatically destroyed at the very beginning so that as soon as you load into the map the door is already open to the forklifts and you can just get right into the forklifts immediately with all your friends so it's up to you if you want the challenge you could download the map or if you don't want the challenge, then you can download the other map. Uh, but yeah, so that's really it. Now some of these ID badges are kind of somewhat hidden, like around like really tight corners. Uh, and there's also this badge here that's inside the uh, the Halo tribute room. So to get this one, I have a teleporter here because this door is only open in Infection. In Slayer and any other game modes, including like Forge's play mode, you cannot get in there without using a teleporter. So just keep that in mind. But I did have a teleporter placed there so you can get in there in any game type you want. Uh, but anyways, here is the last ID badge. And hopefully you've been following along, because if you have, then all you have to do now is go to either side of the map, to the top level. And on either side, this door here will be open, as you saw at the very beginning of the video. And the forklift, that says like cold be the drive malfunctioning forklift, uh, will be available. Another interesting thing about the forklift before we do too much with it is that if you ping it, it doesn't say vehicle actually. When you ping it, it actually says it's a weapon, <laughs> which is uh, kind of funny. But yeah, I mean, the forklift is fully functional. Even the uh, lift itself actually works, and you could use it to lift objects and other vehicles, as well as other forklifts. But if you try to lift other forklifts, it gets really glitchy and very dangerous fast. <laughs> uh, but of course, that doesn't mean it's not possible to lift other forklifts. In fact, it's a it's a pretty fun like uh, challenge for you know friends to try to like have forklift battles or try to lift each other with a forklift, and it's just the shenanigans with that are just like absolutely nuts and hilarious. So as you can see here, me and my friend Photos Chaos, we're just trying to like grab each other with a forklift, and ultimately I succeeded here, and I managed to lock his forklift, and he's trapped. He can't get us. He can't get out anymore, and I can now. I'm in full control now. And of course, here I try to like slam his forklift into the wall, but that just causes both to explode. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's basically it about the forklifts, and it's very easy to get it. The uh, one other thing to notice is that the forklifts, the wheels don't have like animations on them. <laughs> they're I guess they're not complete. The steering wheel doesn't have animations either, and the collisions aren't. They don't seem to be complete either. Like bullets just go right through the forklift. But they do collide with other stuff, including players, and I can stand on the lift itself. Uh, so, you know, there's a few uh, odd things about a forklift here and there, but it's a very fun vehicle to mess around with nonetheless. So, there you guys have it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found the tutorial to be helpful. And like I said, if you want to save some time, you can just grab the maps off my file share, whichever one you prefer. But uh, the links will be in the description below. But anyways, if you enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a thoughts in the comments, anything else we check out or look into, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.